Put your hand over your heart. Where's your hand? Where's your hand now that you put it over your heart? Is it in the middle of your chest? Or is it in the left side of your chest? Well, thanks to Byron Preston on YouTube, who studies all the different places that our organs have shifted. Uh, I watched with great interest, and I find this to be perhaps the strangest Mandela effect of them all, that our heart has shifted from the left side of our chest over towards the center of our chest. And other organs have shifted too. We're going to be discussing the stomach in this video as well. Before I can show you a video from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, there's a lot of kids that are researching the Mandela Effect, and this is for them. This scene you're about to see where this guy rips this heart out of this guy's body is so fake. You can tell by the, the lays here. This one's a single layer of orange, and this is double layers of orange, and this is the real actors. And this is just claymation, stop-motion photography. It's, it's completely 100% fake. I don't want any kids to freak out when I show that. But when you do see that video, you're going to see that the high priest puts his hand, like here, over his heart before he rips it out of his body. He puts it directly over where our hearts used to be on the left. Where is our heart? If you could cut us open, where is our heart? And today, our heart is situated not here, slightly left. I guess this would almost be slightly left, rather than where it used to be, right here. And when did this happen? How did this happen? Your guess is as good as mine. This is where our heart is located today. And this slim, good body type of guy is showing us where the heart is today, when it used to be over here. And I'm going to show you a lot of reality residue showing you that that's where our heart used to be and is for I'm just gonna put a disclaimer here for as many pictures as I can show you uh, there are pictures showing you the center of the heart as well this is the sacred heart in Catholicism it represents Jesus's love for everybody from his heart in Catholicism uh, growing up my whole life, I've always thought this type of um, imagery was strange to me whenever I saw it, because the heart's in the center of the body. And for that reason, it's just, it always looked odd. And But today, this looks normal. That's kind of where our heart is. It's over here a little bit more. But why did I think this looks odd that their hearts are in the center of their body because our hearts were over here and this looked odd to me my whole life that it was in the center but now it is in the center our hearts are in the center of our body now and this is a good t-shirt to show you the liver has grown the size of a football and it stretches over our entire chest the stomach instead of evolution working and gravity working in our stomach being right here you know over a hundred thousand years in the evolution of man as we continually drop food down our throats do you think it's going to go under our rib cage over here no gravity pulled our stomach right down into our belly that's where it used to be and now and if you take just eat food eat food and and and, and try to Try to con concentrate and figure out where's that food going. Is it going down into my belly where my stomach used to be? Or is it sliding over to the left where my heart used to be? And when I eat food or drink a cold glass of water or milk, when I drink, it's now all my food's going right under my heart. It doesn't go down to my stomach anymore. And, and we'll be talking about that a little bit later. This poor kid was shot in the heart. He's a Palestinian. He was shot by Jews right in the heart. Now, it should be right here. If he was shot in the heart, it should be right here. And as you can see, it's over there in the left side of our chest. Even this cartoon gets it right, the left side of our chest. Where do doctors listen to our hearts when we go to the doctor's office? 
the left side of our chest is where they always put their stethoscopes. This guy lets his daughter check his heart on the left side of his chest. Left side of his chest. Left side of his chest. And like I said, there's pictures showing doctors with stethoscopes on the where our hearts are now. But I've found plenty of these pictures. This one's just funny. These guys are all listening to his belly. Even a dummy knows where our hearts used to be. That's they're listening for the heart in all these pictures. Left side of the chest, that's right where it used to be. How many do I have to show you before you realize our hearts used to be in the left side of our chest? Everyone, look at a doctor listening to a patient's heart with binaural stethoscope. Look where he is. This is as far over as you can go without slipping off his body. Is he right here where our hearts are now? In this area? No. Nope. It's where it used to be, in the left side of our chest. He knows where it is. He knows where his heart is. It's not here. Or it is now. Today, this man's heart is right here. But when this picture was taken, his heart was right here. All of our, ch all of our hearts have shifted to the center of our chest. At some point. And you might ask, well, maybe he's listening to his lungs over there. You know, a doctor listens to the lungs in the rear part of their bodies. And our lungs have changed too. Our lungs are up here now. They used to be down closer to our waist. Now they're up like angel wings, I call them. Our lungs are like angel wings. They're up here. But this is where you listen to lungs. You don't listen in the front to lungs because the lungs are in our backs. You wouldn't listen to the front part of our body and go through six inches of flesh to hear your lungs. These are all pictures of doctors listening to lungs. Even a cartoon, she's listening to the lungs. Right, what about a heart attack? What does artwork look like when someone has a heart attack? Where do they grab? Left side of our chest. Left side. Oh, my heart, my heart attack. Look at this. Perfect, right there. That's where your pain would come from. Look at this. Left side of your chest is where our hearts used to be. And all these pictures, they're grabbing the left side of their chest, not the front, not the front center, no. Grabbing right where our heart used to be. It's proof. Heart attack. These are all pictures of people having, you know, artwork of people having heart attacks. Ooh. Look at where he's grabbing, left side of his chest, not here, where it is today. Look at all of them. Oh, this guy's heart attack. Why wouldn't he? Be, why wouldn't this be right here? Because this is reality residue. It's showing our past reality. And these are where do you put your hand over your heart during the national anthem or when, whenever country you might be from? You don't put it over the center of your chest. You put it over your, where your heart used to be. But from now on, when you do the pledge of allegiance, you have to put your hand here. Because that's where your heart is. So don't forget, during, during these political and, and, and sporting events and whatnot, you make sure you put your hand here over your heart from now on. So that's where it is today. This is the x-ray, and I went to look for x-rays of hearts, and uh, they're all in the center now. You can't find x-rays of the hearts over here anymore. But that's where our hearts are today. You shouldn't be able to find them over here. But we do have evidence. And look at, someone put artwork these are all artwork of our heart. Here's the old. Here's our heart today. But this, this is where they wanted it. They want it in the old place. Whoever did this art, this guy wants it in the old place. And look, he's saying, "I want my heart to move from here down over to here. I'm going to just smear my chest till it does that." Well, guess what? You got your wish. That's where your heart is now. Uh, way off center, way to the left, all these pictures of artwork. Because this sweatshirt's very accurate as to where our heart used to be. And now, today, our hearts, our hearts are here. And our stomachs <laughs> are right here. Our stomachs are right here, under our rib cage, partially. Instead of gravity, our gold gravity stomachs and evolution stomachs that used to be down here, from gravity 
pushing weight down our guts. Our stomachs are up here now. And I said, just eat something. I, I stuffed a whole Twinkie in my mouth and swallowed it all. And whoop, it went right down under where my heart used to be. That's where it feels. And then I drank some milk and, and washed it down further into my heart. It doesn't fit, go down to our belly anymore. Our stomachs don't go down there anymore. They just don't. Our body's changed. Look at this cartoon pulled the heart right out of where it used to be. He didn't pull it out of the center. <laughs> oh. you know, all these pieces of artwork show our hearts where they used to be. She drew it on her hand and put it over her where it used to be. Where my heart used to be. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And this cartoon is right. That is where your heart used to be, and now it's right here. I like Alanis Morissette. I really like her voice. Look at another cartoon pulling it out of our old place. This book where they put the heart. Even this cart quick cartoon. Yeah, if you go straight down, he's holding this straight down. The heart would be over here, and the heart would be over here. Think with your mind and not your pistol. That's a Y cleft gene line. All these art, look at why. Why would they put the heart here instead of right here, where it is? You're happy about it? No. No, I'm sorry. At minimum, he's a fucking asshole. At minimum. All right, so this is a, this is this is a crock of shit, but I wanted to get this out and and like I said, hat tip to uh, to the other old earthers out there. You know who you are, you know those of us that that know the Mandela effect isn't isn't us having a a, a brain aneurysm or some shit. For many of us out there that are awakened to the truth, we know the reality of things, whether it be Bible verses that have uh, been changed or whether it's been. Uh, movie catchphrases that we all grew up on. These are things that have been ingrained into our culture here as uh, Americans and, and also worldwide. And, uh, you know, things from Star Wars or Forrest Gump, uh, the Berenstein Bears, um, just, just a plethora of different things out there that have been turned upside down. And it's not so much the issue of a movie or a song or TV show, or theme song, or movie quote, that's not the issue. The issue is that we're not crazy. We're not crazy. We know what's going on. We know the truth. We know the truth of the Word of God. We know the truth when it comes to TV shows, movies, entertainment that we grew up on. Everybody knows that for Star Wars, it's Luke, I am your father, not no, I am your father. Uh, Forrest Gump everybody knows the reality that life is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're going to get right but yet the doggone devil wants you to believe that no you're crazy it's life was like a box of chocolates and you know what by the power of the Holy Spirit I feel I've been I've been afforded the opportunity to go ahead and, and expose the truth, the reality of things, uh, the way I see it, the devil, the enemy, CERN, the elite, the the Illuminati, the Luciferians, the Satanists, these folks that are out there, uh, you know, dabbling in witchcraft and whatever the hell else they're up to, in regards to this 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 great deception, I don't know what the hell they're up to, but I know this: the truth shall always be revealed. You can deceive. You could try to, you know, uh, you know, pull the wool over people's eyes. You could do try to do mass delusion to me. But you know what? The truth will always prevail. And today, I have a perfect example for you. So right now, I have listed up here. We have Forrest Gump. Everybody's seen this scene, and uh, this is actually filmed in one of my favorite places in America, which is uh, Savannah, Georgia. Beautiful place. So most everyone remembers this scene with Forrest Gump sitting on this bench talking about life is like a box of chocolates right mama always said life is like a box of chocolates well with the Mandela effect let's go ahead and play let's see what's going on here take a look 
Hello. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. Do you want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Life was like a box of chocolates. That is a doggone lie. That is an absolute doggone lie. Let's, let's play that again. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So let's delve a little bit deeper in this. Let's look at the movie. Let's find out what did his mama actually say. What's the matter, mama? I'm dying, Forrest. Come on in, sit down over here. Why are you dying, Mom? It's my time. It's just my time. Oh, now. Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just a part of life. Something we're all destined to do. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. I did the best I could. You did good, mama. Well, I happen to believe you make your own destiny. The best with what God gave you. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. I will miss you, Forrest. All right, so right there, the, the amazing scene right there with Sally Field and Tom Hanks. His mama says, life is a box of chocolates. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to contain myself because I'm so angry right now. I'm so frustrated. Um, this Mandela effect and the deception that's taking place and that there's many that think we're all crazy. They just straight think we're crazy stone cold crazy and we're not crazy we know the truth and praise be to God I found that I found some evidence I found some truth and I'll play that next I'll try to be quiet and let it play out uh, till the end and uh, well let's just go take a look and see so we can see the evidence that look his mom actually said life is right and now we're gonna see the real true iconic scene this is behind the scene footage that I was able to find on the internet on YouTube. Actually, I, I didn't find it on YouTube. I believe I, f I found this uh, off of like a Daily Motion or something like that, possibly. Um, but I will provide the link below and uh, let's roll it. Hey, dummy! Are you modern or just plain stupid? No, I'm first Gimp. Forrest Gump starts as a boy and then he grows to a man who's someone who grew up in the deep south and he's limited in a way by having a very low IQ but he's a very decent man and that's what he is as a character. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. I found the book Forrest Gump 1985 and I fell in love with it. I read the first line and the first line of the book is being an idiot ain't no box of chocolates. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. Wait a minute. So, did y'all hear that? 
Did y'all hear that? You know, you know, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Because that's the scene right there, right here, that myself, along with millions of others, heard and remember. Right here. Let's play that again. We're going to play this a couple times. Let's do it. Life is like a box of chocolate. I said that life is like a box of chocolate. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So right there, y'all. I'm done. It's just, it's, it's, it, it angers me. It's too much. Um, I got more videos planned. Please share the word. Share, share these videos. Uh, share these links. Make your own videos. Get the word out about the Mandela Effect because it is real. This is proof and evidence right here, right now, that something's going on. Millions upon millions of us remember seeing Forrest Gump and the iconic line, Life is like a box of chocolates. But yet, it's as though our reality got flipped upside down. But you know, praise be to God, he allowed me to be able to find this evidence, this proof and provide it to the world to see so please share this video make your own videos and let's get the word out about the truth behind the Mandela effect That's all, folks.